If you want the definition of rage quitting, it is playing this game as a video game. But let's see what the tabletop does. Hi and welcome to Tabletop Gaming, the home of cool things like this, a monthly magazine based on all cool things, board games, card games, RPGs, the lot. I am Charlie and today I'm going to take you through an unboxing slash first look at Cuphead, the fast rolling dice game from the OP. Now this is based on a video game that hands down I played maybe two levels of and just went absolutely not, this is not for me, this is horrendous. It's not, it is delightful and it's fun but it pulls no punches. It is a difficult game. Now it sort of feels in that old school kind of vibe that you'll notice immediately from the artwork that is on here and it does so beautifully. There is even a TV series coming out around this style of artwork and around these characters and um, that's one that actually I'm probably going to watch. I think looks great. Um, it's probably no surprise then that it came to tabletop um, but as for what's inside I don't know. Let's find out together. Now if I just show you what we're looking at here, we have got a rather large and quite hefty uh, game which is really beautifully themed. Now it's for ages 12 plus for players 1 to 4 and for 20 minutes you can play this game. Um, now this has been reviewed in the most recent issue of Tabletop Gaming which in fact is not the one that I showed you but the one that has since gone to print and the review's been pretty positive. So I'm quite excited to take a look into this copy and see what's here and whether this will also make me rage quit. I think it won't. I've got much more tolerance for tabletop games. Now, we start with some punch outs, um, which have got those cool little timers and we've got different coins, I'm going to guess that those are. Um, and our rule book, da, 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 da. Nicely, not too long. There's a good couple of pages in there, um, but seemingly nothing too bad, considering the first one um, is simply what's inside. Our flavor text, of course, is included. Cuphead and Mugman have got themselves into a real pickle this time. A wager with the devil went sideways, and now the brothers have no choice but to travel the Inkwell Isles collecting soul contracts for the devil himself. Um, Elder Kettle and Miss Chalice are joining the cause as one to four players battle through eight unique boss battles. Um, gives us a good idea on setup, boss deck setup, um, and then our how to play actually begins on page three and carries on through, so not too much to have to worry about. I like this is a dice rolling game because it keeps with that sort of attempt to frantically do something that is going to do anything different than the last time you did it. Um, and in the back we have a reset the route um, and sort of what grades you get depending on your performance and how well you do. And um, hopefully you don't die within the first like 10 seconds, which I kept doing. Now, okay, so this is the first of the player boards. So we have Cuphead himself. You will recognize him, our titular character, um, Mr. Charles. You'll see what I mean about that artwork as well. It's really beautifully themed the whole way through and it's really nice that the tabletop um, has been doing exactly the same. There's no attempt to sort of reskin it. It's like, we know this works. This is what we're doing here. So we have a save sheet. Um, so all of these are the same, a good thick amount of those. These will probably be player scoring, I would assume. Um, we have, what are you? Oh, I see. We have a uh, draw, discard and wallop as an option. Presumably we'll lay out certain cards across there and make decisions that way. Um, we have a slider, so this will have different options in. Again, in keeping with those colours. And the bit I'm very excited about, the dice! There's so many there! All sorts of different motifs on them. I will show you a couple. Let's have a look. So we've got a black one here, for example. We've just got fancy different bits and bobs on. We've got one of the white ones but with red markings that's got similar styles on um, I wonder how many of them are colour coded to specific things but we've got green ones here I imagine we might need to do maybe one of each as we go through but ultimately plenty there are tons in there now just to give you an idea though of what's in the box itself I'm quite surprised to see the decks as separate boxes almost like a legacy game and um, it reminds me a little bit of, sort of how Harry Potter does things in one of their games so we've got our sections for stuff to put in and then those big boxes now those are where most of the weight is because altogether these are pretty heavy because altogether that's what adds to the bulk of this now these I really like these make them look like playing cards and I just think that's superior quality, manufactured for your enjoyment. Um, so this is our first one, and presuming it won't spoil too much, let's have a quick look inside. So these are a stack of cards, there is an order to them specifically, and look at that. 
it's just a really distinct style. It's really noticeable as being Cuphead. So let's have a look in here. Uh, so they mostly have these. Okay, interesting. So you have these ones. We've got cool things. So a knockout. Victory, each player receives four coins, for example. That's very good. I just... The artwork, honestly, it's my favourite thing about this. Um, but we've got maybe attacks. This is charms. So this is a smoke bomb. Once per round, you may assign one diamond in place of any die. So these probably draw and will give you a little bit more to keep in your hand to use. However, we then have stop. Do not go any further. Okay, so... I'm gonna have a sneaky quick look. Um, what we have is Root the Pack ones. Um, and these seem to tell a story. So, okay, I quite like that that's the case. We're not just playing as is. This feels a lot more like Hogwarts Battle. Um, I appreciate it isn't, it? they are very different, but it's that same sort of vibe. Having played that recently, I'm like, oh, this is like that, where you've got different things in each one and you're gonna be taken through a narrative as opposed to just a, this could have well easily been like a, your boss has this many, you need to roll this many dice and then you need to get these many points and there you go, it's really hard. And then just leave it at that. This seems to have a lot more to it and a lot more options as well, both from the difference in decks that you have. Also, can we talk about how huge deck seven is? Look at that, how much stuff is in there? Is that purely cards? That is, that's a full set of cards in there. Interesting. I mean, it, again, it pulls no punches. This is going to be a hard game, whatever. Um, but very, very cool. Okay, so that leaves me with a couple of things I have to look at because I don't want to look into those and ruin those for if you're going to play it. Um, but I like the styling so far. So in the bottom here, we have a standee holder. Um, we have, which should we open first? It's envelopes and there's cards. Let's do the cards. These on the back have wallop written on them. And that is the same throughout all of them. And then on the other side, it's just different. These are different things that are on the dice. So perhaps these are to do how well you are or what have we got? We've got all players gain one HP. We've got choose one player to gain HP, choose one player to gain a parry token. Um, so, okay, so cooperative, presumably in order to play this. And then lastly, we have super art envelope. So we have four of those. And each of them, open this envelope if all players complete a battle with three parry tokens each. Uh, open this envelope if all players complete a battle with full health. Open this envelope if you have earned at least three A plus scores. And finally, open this envelope if you earn an A plus on an aeroplane level. Okay, so they increase in number, they must be particularly difficult, but this is a nice added thing. Um, so I'm going to cheat and look in this. Please do skip ahead um, if you don't want to see or you think you're going to play because I don't want to ruin this, um, but I am curious. So what have we got? Okay, so we have more of these guys that we saw in the earlier pack. Um, and super art, we have so an energy beam. Clear all three parry cubes to double the damage you deal this round. So these presumably are upgrades that will fit within the deck of cards that you have that are dependent on if you do well in this and you're trying to go through all of them. If you can do these early and keep these, you are at a better advantage of defeating the ones later on. That's very clever. This is 100% not what I was expecting from a Cuphead game. Um, I... I don't know why. I, I very much saw this as a sort of one and done, a sort of very easy play at once. There you go, cool, you've done it, that's it. Not as a increasing difficulty, as a storyline that goes through, as something that you can earn. It's very much more video gamey, which is what this is based on. Um, and I find that really interesting. So actually, very, very cool. Very, very nice to look at. Now, as I say, there's a full review of this that went into the magazine. You can go and check that out on our website. Um, but also, I will make sure to pop the review so that it is available for you to have a listen to or have a watch um, whilst on YouTube as well. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss that. Um, I want to hear in the comments if there are any tabletop games that made you rage quit. Um, and also, if you've played this, what your thoughts are, whether you're thinking of picking it up, because I'm surprised by it. Are you surprised by it? Is this what you expected? Let me know, I would love to hear from you. But that's all from us for now. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.